Hello, and welcome to the installation experience video for Printout at Xerox Embedded. Today, we will be exploring the installation and configuration process of the application. Before we begin, please note that Internet Information Services, or IIS, has been installed and configured on the system. Printout at 6 has also been previously installed and licensed, and both are a requirement of the Printout at Xerox Embedded application. Please refer to the documentation on www.printaudit.com for a full listing of requirements. The Printout at Xerox embedded application is also available on our website. Once the requirements for installation have been met and the application file has been downloaded, the first step in the process is to run the Printout at Xerox embedded setup file. Click Next on the Setup Wizard to get started. After accepting the license agreement, click Next. An alternate application location can be specified by clicking the Change button if desired, or accept the default location by clicking Next. If using the Copy, Scan, and Fax Tracking functionality, enter the appropriate configuration details for the application. Enter the IP address or hostname of the system running the database communicator service. The default port and connection timeouts do not typically need to be modified unless done so during the Printout at 6 installation. Click Next. If using the Secure application, ensure the Enabled option is selected from the drop-down. Enter the IP address or hostname of the system running Printout at Secure. Click Next. If IIS is running multiple websites, you can select an alternate website from the drop-down. This may have additional port considerations when configuring the embedded device. Typically, the default website is used for the application. Click Next. At this point, we are ready to complete the installation. Click the Install button. And when completed, click Finish. After completing the server-side software installation, we can deploy the configuration settings to the device using the Xerox Registration Client Tool. The download link for the tool is included in the Xerox Configuration document available on www.printaudit.com. First, launch the Xerox Registration Client Tool. Enter in the DNS or IP address of the device where Xerox Embedded will be installed. Enter the username and password for an administrative user on the Xerox device and click Connect. Click the Create New button to register a new application with the device. Be sure to enter in the exact registration name, admin description, and vendor information. It is recommended that the information is copied and pasted from the Xerox Embedded Configuration Guide to avoid typos. For the URL parameter, Use the IP address for the system where the Xerox embedded application is installed. Once complete, click the Save button to save configuration for additional devices. Click Create to register the application with the device. Next, we will configure the Xerox device in the Printout at 6 administrator by launching the administrator tool and selecting Embedded Systems from the left-hand pane. Click on the New button in the toolbar and select Embedded for Xerox from the drop-down. Click OK. Enter a meaningful name for the embedded configuration. To obtain the serial number information, launch a web browser and enter in the Xerox device's IP address. Click on the Description and Alerts item from the left-hand menu and copy the value under the serial number listing. Back in the Printout Administrator, paste the serial number into the Serial Number field. 
If there is already a printer entry for the device within the Printout at 6 printers list, you can select it in the Report as Printer field. Select the authentication type from the authentication drop-down. Costs for operations performed on the Xerox device through the embedded application are set under the Pricing tab by double-clicking the entry. Each type of activity can have its own price. Under the Prompts tab, the information prompted for on the devices can be set. I have selected the Client Code field to be presented to authenticated users. Under the Advanced tab, the Xerox Administrative User and Password information will need to be set. Once finished, click on the Save button. Lastly, the Xerox device does require some additional configuration. To perform the configuration, access the device's embedded web page by entering the IP address of a unit in a web browser. Click Login and enter the administrative user credentials. Once authenticated, navigate to the Properties from the top menu, then expand General Setup. Select Entry Screen Defaults. Under the Services drop-down, select Print Audit Embedded for Xerox. Scroll down and under the Default Walk-Up Screen section, select the Services Radio button. Click Apply. Next, navigate to the Login slash Permission slash Accounting section on the left hand side menu. Expand and select Login Methods. Click the Edit icon in the Touch and Web User Interfaces section. For the Touch UI method drop-down, select Xerox Secure Access Unified ID System. The Web UI method drop-down should be set to Username or Password, Validate on the device. Click Save. Back under the Login method section, select the Edit button next to the Xerox Secure Access Setup Configuration item. To update the address shown, click on the Manually Override Settings button. Ensure the IPv4 option is selected and enter in the IP address of the system hosting IIS. The path setting should be set to PA Xerox authentication forward slash server dot ASMX. Ensure the embedded checkbox is not enabled. Under the device login method section, select Xerox secure access device only. Under the accounting information, select automatically apply accounting codes from the server. In the Device Instructional Blocking window, enter in the instructional information for non-authenticated users. Click Save. Navigate to Login slash Permission slash Accounting and click on the Accounting Methods. Click Edit next to the Touch and Web User Interface. Select the Accounting method to Network Accounting. Click Save. Navigate to Login slash Permission slash Accounting and click on Accounting Methods. Click Edit next to the Accounting Workflow and ensure all job types are set to capture usage. Click Save. Click Edit next to the User Accounting Prompts. Select No Prompting from the Presets drop-down. And click Save. Lastly, select Security from the left-hand menu. 
expand certificates, and then click on security certificates. Ensure that the default Xerox device certificate is listed. If not, click on the Create New Xerox Device Certificate. That concludes the installation and configuration of Xerox Embedded. For further information, please refer to our knowledge base and technical documents on www.printaudit.com. Thanks for watching.